first off, I suppose fans will want to know about your own personal injury. You had a, a bit of a, a bang on the hip, was it against Connacht the weekend? Yeah, um, you know, it was, it was a physical, physical contest first of all, and I just I got a bang in the in the hip. Hopefully, it should be. Um, should be good to go, just keep an eye on it over the next couple of days. In terms of the Gloucester Challenge on Friday night, I mean, famous for rivalry with Munster over the years, King's Home is a famous ground. Excitement in the camp for this kind of game? Yeah, look, you know, I say it every week, every week we come back for Europe, you know, you can see a difference in, in the guys around the place, you know, it's excitement levels are always building, and, um, you know, as you said, going to King's Home, you know, it's there since they're a small support monster, you know, it's an incredible atmosphere. Um, you know, they have an incredible passion for their team and their support certainly uh, around Europe is second to none. It's 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 a great stadium to play in and uh, you know we we have our own little pocket of, of supporters there but it's always a super atmosphere to, to play to play in and that's what play against. What are your earliest memories of King's Up as a fan? Um, I just remember the noise, you know, uh, looking across at the uh, at the shed and uh, the racket they make, and I suppose they're kind of kind of similar to to our own group. You know, they're how passionate they are, and you know how loyal they are, and uh, you know it, it's a, it's always a great place. Whether you're a fan or, or whether you're on the pitch, it's, it's certainly something you notice. Uh, the atmosphere over there. I was going to ask you that as a pro, obviously, you know, games can become very similar, and you're, you're moving on to the next job. But do you look forward to these games personally? You know that you can actually hear the crowd and it's nice and tight. Does it add a little bit to it? Yeah, it does. It does of course. Um, you know, you always have grounds that you, you enjoy playing, and you remember, you know, good and bad memories of there. Um, but it's you always remember the buzz that was there, and yeah, I know our, our supporters love going there, uh, which is always a good sign. And you know, they're always well. There's a there's a great reception for them, and, and for us as well. To be fair, they're. Uh, they're a very passionate sporting group, but you know they're always very appreciative of both teams as well. And um, you know, it's just a, apart from it being an incredible battle and a challenge to go and get a win there, um, it's always very enjoyable. What about class themselves then as a team? You know, obviously we didn't get to see a full fifteen when they were here in Town Park with the sending off. But since then, in your review this week, what can fans expect from them? Yeah, look, I think they're playing a great brand of rugby. Um, you know, their, their ability to play. Play football uh, is is very impressive. Um, you know, I think Matt Matt Start has come in in the second row for them, and he's been he's kind of given them another edge uh, in their in their in their tight five. Um, you know, they've a good direction with their halfbacks, and they play some nice rugby. And as I said, they they've added that that lineup. Their their lineup is certainly one of their their most impressive parts of the game as well. So, you know, we're we're certainly going to have our work cut out. Peter, you saw the strength and depth of the squad over the Christmas period, over the three games. Looking at a lot of lads coming back from injury, I know a couple have maybe picked up knocks, but this year coming into these last two pool games, do you think it's as strong a squad as Munster have had for some time? Um, it's probably the, the highest percentage of fit players we've had, certainly, um, which is which is hugely important you know, for, for this time of the year. Um, if you're going to try and compete with the best in Europe, you know it's 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 incredibly important that you have a hugely high standard in training and guys are pushing push each other for for selection and, and uh, we certainly have that at the moment. Um, you know our, our standards in training are, are, are very high at the moment and um, there's certainly a huge competition for places as you, as you can see across lots of areas in our team. So um, as I said, that that's a hugely important thing to have going forward. Is there added pressure with the tightness of the group coming into this game? I mean, a lot of groups mightn't be as tight as this one between bottom and top. You're looking at just four points separating yourselves and Exeter. Does that add more pressure again onto an already, I suppose, pressurised game away from home? Yeah, I think it does. Um, you know, it's, it's a cliche, but it's, it's cup rugby now this week. You know, it's you know you could have a huge swing of of where people end up after this weekend, and um, you know it's going to be vital. Uh, you know, going away from home is always so difficult in, in Europe, and um, you know we, we know how, how big an effort it is going to take if if we do want to get a win over there. Peter, um, one of the criticisms over the last few weeks, I suppose, especially with Castro away in Ulster, is that uh, you mightn't have taken all the chances that were that were on the table for you. But we saw over the last couple of weeks that you know, when Glasgow made those few slip ups and left 
I suppose conference a top spot open you really did capitalize on 10 from 15 points over the pro 14 kind of inter pro series uh, window and now you really have to bring that ruthlessness into the next game of the weekend yeah i think so look uh, people talk about the cast away game but uh, you know you're running to the top 14 champions backyard you know it's, it's, it's an incredibly difficult place to go um you know ulster as well you're, you're away in, in a very difficult place to go and get points and look uh, i'm certainly very happy with the way um the last couple of weeks has gone and you know i've up in top spot i know we're into a different competition this week but you know, a lot of a lot of this game is about momentum and guys having confidence to play well and enjoy playing and um, you know, that's something that we've certainly taken over the last few weeks. There's a lot of positive stick out of it. There's plenty of stuff we can work hard on and I suppose that's a great thing that we have we have scope to and room to improve um, you know after some good performances. So look we'll we'll certainly have to build on, on that kind of ruthless, ruthless age but there's some stuff we've to build on that was that was good also.